Hello to you from the London Stadium, the venue for the 2012 Olympic Games. I'm Guy Mowbray and I'm joined by Sue Smith for commentary. And we've got action from the Premier League here today. It's West Ham United versus Arsenal. Cheers, Guy. I think it's so important that both teams start on the front foot, take the game to the opposition, and an early goal would certainly settle any nerves. It's no great surprise who we've picked out to have a look at here. What are we expecting to see from him today, Sue? Well, that sort of form speaks for itself, doesn't it? To score three goals in his last three matches, he must be full of confidence. All the best keeping him quiet. This is the West Ham United team sheet. Yeah, a 4-5-1 or a 4-2-3-1. A lot of coaches are adopting this nowadays as it does give you those two holding players while you've still got plenty of threat from the wide wingers. This is how Arsenal line up. Ben White plays with Alexander Zinchenko as fullbacks. Bakayo Saka starts with Gabriel Martinelli out wide. And the main man leading the attack is Gabriel Jesus. The first kick of the ball, and we're away. Saka. Havertz. Encouraging signs to the attack, but it hasn't led to anything. Keeps himself in the way, well held. Alvarez. Ward Prowse. Socek. Alvarez. And the pass is incomplete, nicely won. Martin Odegaard. Played to Martinelli. Jesus having a try. And there's the opener. The all-important first goal of the game. Well, here it is again, and this is a great team goal. They keep the ball moving, one and two touch passing, and then it's a calm finish at the end. So off we go at 1 0. Martin Odegaard. Thomas Socek. Jared Bowen. Good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? Great chance here. And the shot thwarted. Saka. Here's William Saliba. Martin Odegaard. Kai Havertz. Odegaard. They've lost it there, and the attack is over. Trying to force a mistake. Havertz. Making good progress here. Safe, but not cleared. Odegaard. And it's on now. 
And there's another one. Valuable breathing space for them now. Well, here we can see it again. You do have to feel for the keeper. He's left completely exposed at the back, and he never really had much of a chance. It's poor defending, you have to say. So the lead is now two as the game restarts. Thomas Socek. Jared Bowen. Approaching the interval now, and the hosts look like having a mountain to climb. Is the score fair enough on what we've seen? They've struggled, haven't they? They've looked languid, looked lethargic. The back line, they've had a torrid time too. It feels like with every attack they're going to concede, this is a big mountain to climb to get back into this. It's put into the middle, and the corner dealt with. He takes it on, and it crosses the line for an Arsenal corner. Into the box it goes, and the defence ready for what was coming. Goes for goal! And that brings the first half to an end here at the London Stadium. Well, he's made his mark on the game, proving particularly hard to play against. He's causing problems. Yeah, that's been a good half for him. Clinical with his finish, but he's maintained an intensity to his performance. So the second half gets underway, with Arsenal only wanting more of the same. his luck and that's not a bad save at all and they've gone with a short one Erdegaard the goalkeeper more than ready for it and they go again with another corner. Something different from the corner. Kudus. Thomas Socek. So far, there's a chance for the breakaway here. So check Arsenal with the ball again. This looks promising from Arsenal. Has to be picked out nicely. Must be. And the danger is cleared. Mavropanos. Lucas Paqueta. Ward Prowse. Passing and the movement is good here. Socek. So foul. And that has stopped any potential danger.
Breaking at pace, this could be dangerous. Havertz. And possession given away. Oh, a great chance. Drifting into a useful position here. Jesus. Odegaard. White. Rice. Well, that brings the match to a close. A frustrating day for the fans in attendance, and it's three points dropped. They certainly weren't at their best today. The passing just wasn't incisive enough. They kept getting caught in possession, and they'll know a big improvement's needed for the next time out. There have been a few good performances out there today, but of all the players on show, he's one that's really caught the eye. Yeah, there's not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. I'm sure he'll be delighted with his performance.